Good morning and may God bless you. My name is Nikki Ross and I will be doing devotional day seven, which comes from 1 Peter 4.10. This is the New King James Version. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. I've fallen and I can't get up. That is a tagline that many of us have heard. It's from a national company that sells a sense of assurance for those who could find themselves in an emergency situation needing assistance and care. Every day, all around us, people are falling and landing in situations where they can't save themselves. Some will linger in despair for hours, days, or even weeks waiting for someone to come along and assist. Others will use extraordinary courage and strength to fight their way back. And then there are some that will just succumb to their circumstances. So when we see someone who has fallen or struggling in a situation, what is our response? Do we provide assistance or do we just simply keep moving? If we're honest, our response is multi-layered. This is because there's another force in the world trying to divert us from helping others with lies and distractions. And this is constantly. And that someone is the enemy. He'll tell us things like, we simply don't have the time to help someone else. We don't have enough resources as it is now. How are we going to share with others? And we have to hold back and protect ourselves and our own self-interest. So the problem with the enemy strategy, his lies, is that some of what he's saying is actually true. We do need to manage our time and resources in a responsible way. The secret to circumventing the devil's half-truths is to ask for guidance from the Holy Spirit. Like most of you all, my schedule is demanding. I was challenged with deciding on whether I should assist the neighbor with a task. I thought about all the things I had lined up for that given day and had created an internal list of why I couldn't help with the request. But after thinking about the request, I realized it was an opportunity for me to show the love of God and to assist a neighbor who really did need my help. In the end, it did not require much time from me at all. And most importantly, God got the glory. Today, I challenge you to pray and ask the Lord to show you ways to help those who need a hand up. Don't be scared. You are equipped and God will guide you. My prayer is that God continue to bless you and give you the strength and opportunities to be a witness for him.